you'd have all your notifications here. You, this is, shows that I have a missed call. If I had other things, I could have like a, a voicemail, text messages, or email, and I could actually unlock right into whatever that application is. I'm having a little problem swiping today. You see, I am. so I unlock right in. I'll unlock right into the the home screen. So this is the new home screen. We've made it very finger friendly. Mm -hmm. You're able to navigate, go through, or you can just click on things. Again, you'll notice that things change with whatever item I'm highlighting. Okay. Cool. Go to my calendar for the day. And all Windows Mobile 6.5 devices will now have the, the start key. So I hit the start key, and just like on your PC, it takes you into all your programs. Again, very finger friendly. You can see that we've made it very intuitive, so you, you can see that there's one hanging over here so that you know that it's, it's meant to swipe up and down, not left to right. We've improved our the contacts the way they look, so you see the, the contacts name as well as their picture. Easy now to navigate. You have the little elasticity there. Go back. Start email. So you can have up to seven accounts in here. We're going to uh, my work email. So easily navigate. If I want to go over to my my personal email, I just swipe, mm -hmm. and now I move over to my other accounts. I can actually go through all of my accounts, even my text go into a message. When I'm in my message, I can go, through, obviously scroll through it, but just like a book, I can turn it to my next message, so I can go through all my messages very easily. Uh, what else? We have? What, what, what about the backup system? Man? The, yeah. the my phone? So there's not much to see on the phone, mm -hmm. but it's all on the PC. So you just, this is just the sync, so it's very light. It's, it's all over here. the home page, I've logged in, you have 200 megabytes of storage, mm -hmm. I'm able to back up all of these things in your calendar. This, uh, this one has nothing to do with uh, SkyDrive, for example? Or... Uh, no. Okay. So, and I can edit any of these contacts, say I wanted to edit Alexander, go in, save that. Anyway, the next time my phone synced, all that information would be updated on oh, the phone. Cool. And does it sync with, uh, for example, Exchange or Outlook, etc.? Um, so it does not do Exchange because Exchange, is, you're already living out there, all your mail's out on the, the yeah. cloud anyway, so you don't need to. Mm -hmm. uh, another great feature is So this one is, is a consumer. Uh, so this is my more consumer, yeah. so if, if you installed this on your phone, it would gray out the options for email just because it knows that you're not going to need to do that. Uh, text messages, it backs up your text messages. Mm -hmm. What's great is you can actually arm archive your text messages so it pulls it off of the phone but it's still available out there and then at any time I can restore that back so if I wanted to restore the phone next time it synced it would be back on my phone for it. and it goes uh, through a Wi-Fi connection or it's all Wi-Fi no it doesn't need to be tethered or anything like that another great feature is that all the text messages that are up on here I can actually search so say I'm searching for a restaurant it'll go through all my text messages all of them that relate to that will bring it in there for you that's cool and uh, photos videos music you can all sync them with the uh... yep all my photos that are on my phone I can sync uh, I can actually grab photos from my PC and push them to my phone if I want to. Uh, videos, well, music, documents. And you have 200 megabytes, so you won't be able to show lots of videos. So. Not a lot of videos. Well, it depends on if they're photo, what quality they are. But So what, what do you think is the, uh, the biggest improvement of, of uh, Windows Mobile 6.5? Uh, I think it's it's just very easy to use. It's so, so finger friendly now. It just and then I go to back to uh, this key with, yeah. Yep, so you have to have the script art key and then you just... Oh yeah, that's uh, the, the main uh, button. It's less windows now and more like a phone. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's made it much much easier to use. Much, I mean, it, you, you want to use your phone one-handed. You don't want to have to pull out the stylus mm -hmm. and what have you. It does still have a stylus. Uh, it does still have a stylus. Because, yeah. um, you know, some people want to use that. You'll notice that... Um, 
And will uh, people with a normal uh, 6.1 uh, Windows mobile device be able to upgrade it to 6.5? The only phones, that's it's up to the hardware manufacturers, the only ones that have announced anything are HTC has announced that the Diamond 2 will come out with 6.1 mm -hmm. but be upgradable with 6.5 and the, the Touch Pro. Uh, will also be upgraded to and what about two? Okay, and what about the Shivas? There, nobody else has announced anything okay. yet, Great. so it's it's totally up to the manufacturers. Great. Thanks for this uh, little private.